My mother, Bryn Flowers, she was diagnosed back when I was about 11 years old. Um, she fought very, very hard and she was very um, well known in the community. She wanted to be a part of Susan G. Komen, so she got me and my brother involved at a very young age. I remember we were on a Team Boobies team. I just remember being involved and I saw my mom's passion and what she wanted to do for her community and as well as other cancer patients. Before my mother passed, she traveled to Sacramento um, to testify for a bill with Henry T. Pereira. It's called AB 219. It's a bill that was able to lower the cost of oral chemotherapy pills. A lot of people don't know, but those pills are very, very expensive. I remember my mom paying $2,000 out of pocket for just a 30-day supply of these pills, just in order to survive. A member of the Susan G. Komen Foundation reached out to me and told me that the bill was being sunset. So what that means is the bill is, you know, it's going to be coming to an end. So I was asked to travel to Sacramento and I testified with Assembly Member Limon and we fought for AB 1860, which would lower the cost of oral chemotherapy and we're going to keep that bill alive. And I just hope that it continues and everyone, you know, votes for the bill and keeps my mother's name alive. When I'm in Sacramento and testifying in front of all these important people, I definitely feel my mother's presence and, you know, she guides me through the way and helps me figure out everything I need to do. My name is Milan Flowers. Um, on October 7th, we'll be at Trichancy Park for the Susan G. Komen, the 20th anniversary race. Um, I hope to see you there and I hope our community can get together and embrace the patients and their survivors and everyone going through a hard time and we can get together as a community and have a great time.